वेलकम बैक टू कंप्यूटर स्टडीज स्टैंडर्ड टेंथ चैप्टर नंबर वन इंट्रोडक्शन टू एच टी एम एल पार्ट थ्री इन दी लास्ट वीडियो वी वेर लर्निंग अबाउट डिफरेंट फॉर्मेटिंग टैग्स वी हेड लर्न ऑलरेडी पैराग्राफ टैग दैट इज पी टैग बी आर टैग एंड प्री टैग प्री फॉर्मेटेड ना टूडे ऑल्सो वी आर गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू with the other text formatting tags the next formatting tags which we have to learn are small big b that is for bold i italic u underline first uh, we discuss about small and big font now if we make the use of uh, big and slash big then whatever whichever word we have written between big and slash big will be displayed one font size bigger than the rest of the text same is the case with the small and slash small whichever word we word or sentence or paragraph whatever we type between small and slash small will be displayed one font size smaller than the rest of the text so for that we will create a new web page today whatever uh, uh, this thing fonts we are going to learn that we will save in the new web page so let's begin to learn the other formatting tags we will create a new web page the name of the web page we will give as formatting text to dot html formatting tags to dot html now don't leave any space between uh, dot and html remember this thing now regular coding i will type html i will increase the font size little bit then add title what shall we display in the title some other formatting tags i will close the add tag by typing slash head then body now here i will type a sentence okay i have typed a sentence here now if i first i will see uh, first we will see the output of this thing so how to see the output we will have to save the changes and then open it through a browser so file menu save option i go to my folder formatting text to now here i want to display font size in bigger font so here before font size i type big and after font size i type slash big control s to save the changes alt tab and refresh now you can see the font size has increased one font size right now we come to the other formatting tags that is bold italic and underline as the letter suggests b is used to use for making the content or displaying the content in bold i is used for displaying the content in italic and u is used to display the content in underline so that we'll do in the 
practicals and see the output now we will learn the usage of b tag b is used for making the thing bold now new sentence we want to start in a new line so i type a br here okay and uh, then i copy paste a sentence here in this sentence i want to make this word bold so i type b and slash b control s that is save the changes then go to the browser and give a refresh so you can see here this word is printed in bold same way is the case with italic and underline so no need to do it practically that you can do it on your own now you pause the video here and do whatever is displayed on the screen that is just now whatever uh, web page i had created the name of the web page was formatting text2.html the coding is displayed on the left hand side same coding you type in uh, your web page save the thing and see the output okay okay so the next tag is q tag q and uh, slash q now whatever uh, sentence you write between q and slash q double quotes will be given to that sentence on both the sides double quotes will be added then the next formatting tag is s and slash s it displays the word in strike through manner means what suppose if you are writing something in your book now if you find that this word is written by mistake or this sentence is written by mistake then since you have written it with the pen so you can't press control uh, this thing backspace key in the notebook so what you will do you will rub it with the pen so same way whatever word or sentence you want to uh, put a cross on that thing you have to use this tag before that and after that slashes now we will see this thing with a practical example let us see the usage of q tag now if i want to type hello how are you then if i put q and slash q before that and after that sentence then that sentence will be displayed in double quotes like this way okay now next thing is strike through for example in this sentence the word displayed is given here i want to rub it then i have to put a s letter s that is s tag here and slash s over here let's see see you can see this thing this word displayed is been cancelled so these are the usage of both the tags now tt tag it is used to display the font in the typewriter fonts now we are uh, familiar with the fonts such as arial times new roman and many more now in olden days before the usage of computer before the invention of computer typewriters were used i hope you are familiar with the typewriter if not i will show you the image of a typewriter okay so suppose if you want to display any of the content of your web page in this font then you can use this font then next font is dfn that is to define a specific term now this is not of much much use i will show you the i will demonstrate you the usage of both the fonts so now we will see the usage of tt tag first we'll put a line break here okay then tt i will type i will copy paste the same line here so that you get the difference of both the fonts Sla uh, slash tt 
okay control s and refresh over here see you can see the font has changed so this is the usage of tt font now next thing was next tag was dfn now this is not much useful font for example we type here html slash dfn is a markup language save the file i should put it br here save the file and let's see it only displays the main definition word in italic this, this we can do also using the i tag the last formatting tag is acronym tag the acronym tag is used to spell out another word it is used to give useful information to the browsers translation systems and search engines we'll do a practical of this thing so as usual first we'll put a line break that is we'll put br then we make the use of acronym acronym tag now here one attribute is attribute is added along with the acronym tag the attribute is title in the next video we will learn the meaning of uh, what is attribute now here i have type title is equal to operating system then i type the word os and then slash acronym now you see the effect this is a very interesting tab on the browser it will display os let's see it is displaying os but when i bring my cursor on os it will give me the hint that this word is operating system so like this way is the usage of this tag so the next two tags which we are going to learn are soup s u p and uh, next one is sub now if you want to display any content as raised to for example uh, 2 raised to 2 5 raised to 2 5 raised to 3 now in that in the first example that is uh, 2 raised to 2 then the first 2 is of normal font size while the another 2 is of is uh, raised to means it is of smaller font size and it is higher than the uh, normal line level so in that circumstances you have to type the coding which I will display you in the next slide. Now, same way about uh, sub tag. What is sub tag? Now, H2O, we are familiar with the word H2O or water we use the scientific form that is H2O. Then in that, H is normal and O is normal while Two is not with the same in the same line it is smaller in size and it is below the line level so now this two you have to write it in a subscript that is before that two you have to add the tag sub and after that two you have to finish up the uh, finish up with the help of the tag slash sub We will do the thing practically. Let's see. I will uh, open this thing formatting text to using notepad program to see the coding. Here we want to type 5 raised to 2. So I will type 5. Then I will add sup then 2. Then slash sup. Let's see the result. Control S and open this thing so here you can see the result okay now next is h2o so i type here h then sub then 2 sub slash sub we put a br in between control s and 
let's see refresh h2 i have forgotten to type o so o alt tab and refresh okay so like this way is the usage of sub and soup so as usual just uh, pause the video over here and uh, check the coding whether uh, you have typed the same coding in your uh, notepad or not so here both the things are displayed final coding of formatting tag 2.html and the final output so this much you have to complete and uh, we end the video over here goodbye only this much for this video we meet in the next video now one more thing is all the web pages which were prepared in this video you must prepare it because in the upcoming video we are going to establish hyperlink between all the web pages so if you have not yet created this many web pages please do it bye